what's up YouTube? Welcome to the LaceUp channel. Today we're going to be discussing how the LaceUp DSD software does consignment with battery companies. On the screen you're going to see the LaceUp DSD software on a smart device and over here on the right you'll see QuickBooks. To begin creating a consignment for a customer you open up the LaceUp DSD app and you go to your first customer. You go menu, clock in, and then you go menu, set consignment. From here, you're going to add the items that you're leaving on consignment. To add product, you go products, you select battery. I'm going to add the automotive battery. Let's add 15 of these. Now let's go to the marine battery. I want to add five of these. And lastly, let's go to the power sports battery. I want to add seven of these. When I'm done, I tap done. There's my consignment. Remember, for consignment, you only leave the product the first time and you do not invoice the customer. You invoice the customer on the subsequent visit. So what we're going to do now is finalize and print our consignment contract. To do so, I hit this checkbox. I go to finalize, I hit yes. Now I collect a signature from the customer. And then I print the consignment contract. So after the consignment contract has been printed, the transaction is now finalized and I'm now able to clock out of the stop. So during my route, I'm going to set up my consignment levels, which then I'm going to sync with my server at the end of the day. And then the following visit, I'm going to invoice a customer off of those consignment levels. To transmit the consignment levels at the end of the day, we go menu, end of day, close, end of day, yes. And all that information is going to go from the handheld to the server. Now, the following time the driver goes and visits a customer, the operation is going to be a little bit different. So let's say that the driver is going to start their work day. Again, they're going to go to automotive store number one. Then they're going to hit menu, create clock in. Now, in addition to a set consignment button, there is a count button. Let's go ahead and count how many batteries are remaining. Let's say we count five of these, two of these, four of these. If you tap more, you can rotate or adjust any battery. Moreover, if you associate a core to the battery, you can also add a core to the invoice. When you're done counting, you're going to hit done. There's the invoice with the total dollar amount. Next, you're going to check mark the invoice. You go to finalize and you're going to collect the signature. If it's a COD account, you'll collect the payment. And lastly, you'll print the final invoice. <laughs> 
So once you've invoiced the customer, you'll see that the screen now says finalized. This means that you can exit the screen and go visit the next customer. At the end of the day, all of these consignment invoices can be sent to your back office accounting system. To close the day and transmit the invoices, we go menu, end of day close. From here we go end of day, yes. We open our lace up window containing all the invoices that we've made over the last few days. To export the invoice that we've just created to QuickBooks, we highlight it and we click export documents. Here's the invoice number. And if you go into QuickBooks, you will find the invoice. Zero one, zero one, zero five, one eight, zero six. There's the invoice, and there it is in QuickBooks. So, thank you all for watching the latest installment of the Lace Up channel. For more videos, please click the subscribe button, or for more information, visit our website at www.laceupsolutions.com. Thank you and have a great day.